Hi everybody and a very warm welcome to this tournament reveal and preview video here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel bringing you all the details of the next main tournament to take place in the game of Golf Clash which we all know and love. Uh, please remember to hit thumbs up on the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well, totally free to do so. Now you will see the uh, tournament name here in the title of the video and there's some clues on the screen. We will be playing the Mexican Valley Tournament. That's right, we're off to Nordic Fjords. No, of course we're not off to Nordic Fjords. We are off to Sierra Plateau. Love it or hate it, I think there'll be some mixed reactions on this one. Uh, here come the all-important dates. I'm sure you don't want to miss those. Practice mode is going to go live on Thursday. That is the 2nd of May. Qualifying rounds begin, therefore, on Monday, 6th of May. Can't believe we're at that time of year already. Now, before I bring you the whole overviews, a uh, quick little update here from me. Uh, if you want to join us on Patreon, either as a free or paid member, uh, you will get access uh, here for all of these things. Um, you get the brand new history series, first seven episodes if you are a paid member, uh, early access to our new tutorials if you are a paid member, and regardless of your membership level, you will get uh, the text guides from the Coalition. They are produced totally for free by the community. I'm helping promote their wonderful work uh, for no financial gain for me, but sign up uh, to us on Patreon, you'll get those links sent to you. Free to play balls as well, and those guides, like I say, totally free if you want to go down that route. And also, uh, as we are approaching season uh, 74, there is rumoured to be a tour reshuffle. So, of course, if that is going to be the case, following the previous pattern of every three seasons, which we highly suspect is going to be the case, we will have the new shootout sheets for all tours ready for you over the weekend. So if you are a paid member on Patreon, you will get those sent straight to you. If, of course, you are playing tour play and want help learning a new course or tour. Right, let's have a look at the whole overviews for uh, the full nine of Sierra Plateau. We start with a par four, of course, and there's a couple of routes people are playing on that one now. Uh, sometimes you play out to the right as well as down the middle. Good chance for an eagle. Uh, we then have that rough bump par three, which is your best chance. So you might need a few bars of side spin, even more bars of side spin on that one, uh, playing either side of that tree for your hole in one. Uh, then we have par five, swing the ball over the stream to the left or play straight down the narrow fairway to the right for your albatross there. Then hole four, that very tricky par three, and by all means there are some uh, top-level players that like to moan about that one, but they're still dialing it in. Uh, so it is not undroppable, but it is tough, and it is going to take some tokens if you're not following a guide there on hole four. Most likely going to be a safe birdie. Hole five, dodge the trees, get yourself down one of the fairways for a short iron, hopefully, or at worst, min-distance long iron for your eagle. Very good chance. Hole six can be tricky if you're going to play on the left side. You've got some extra elevation to deal with as well. If you're playing down the right, of course, make sure you're on the fairway. It's a lengthy par five. I love hole seven. A lot of shot creators I know really enjoy hole seven as well. So many ways to play the hole. It's downhill, but you've got bounce downs. You've got NMTs. You've got rough bumps from uh, quite a few places there. Excellent chance for your hole in one. Hole eight, you can blast it down the right-hand side if you've got a decent wind angle. If not, you're going to be laying up. Has been some tricky moments on that one. It's by no means a guaranteed eagle, but is certainly uh, a bit of a test. And finally, hole nine, uh, most likely going to be playing to the right-hand side there to get a safe shot to green for the eagle. Or if you want to be playing with your power balls, then there are, of course, albatross chances as well. Hopefully, this course is not going to be as glitchy as it has been. Like I said, I've no updates for you on that, unfortunately. I know some older devices have been struggling with Sierra Plateau. Hopefully, it's improved, but who knows. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the Mexican Valley Tournament. Hope you're looking forward to it. There will be pro, expert and rookie playthroughs out on the channel very soon to help you. And like I said, if you're with us on Patreon or YouTube, you will get early access to those as well. Take care, guys, and good luck in the tournament. See you soon. Bye for now.